As you could see, it was squirting hydraulic fluid everywhere. As you can see here, I've got a stump that I pulled out. Um, I did this off camera about three months ago, something like that, two months ago. Um, it ended up raining a lot and I wasn't able to get back here and I've uh, been meaning to do a video on backfilling this, getting all this dirt back in a hole. One issue with this is I kind of piled up the dirt on this pile right here, right on top of another stump because I really didn't have anywhere to put it at the time that wasn't going to be in my way. So I'm going to have to kind of work around this stump here as I kind of clean this dirt off of the stump. Um, there's a tree right here that's been driving me crazy for a while. I figure now is as good as time as any to uh, get it dug out tip it over and we'll get it bucked up and then there's a few stumps over here that I'd like to do this stump right here is a pretty good size stump a while back I tried to cut through it um, but my chain needed to be sharpened so I didn't make it all the way through you can see I made it about halfway through there so I'd like to just dig it out um, I did that before I had the stump bucket so I was just trying to cut it off low to the ground and as you can see there's some pretty big tap roots coming off this thing aside from that one we've got a stump over here and this is another tree that I cut down before I got my stump bucket and as you can see I also tried to cut through this one and I think the battery died on my Milwaukee saw when I was cutting through this one. I didn't have a gas saw at the time so I was doing everything with my Milwaukee saw. I think I'm going to dig this one out as well today and aside from that I think I'm going to throw the grapple on when we get all done. Uh, we can move that tree that we tip over today and I'd like to kind of reorganize this log pile over here. So as you can see this log pile hangs way out in the middle of my yard. Um, I was able to get rid of a few trailer loads of logs. Still working on getting rid of some more of them but for now I'd like to at least kind of move the front of this pile, the front half of this pile over alongside the pile. That way it's not coming off so far into my yard. So lots of last minute yard work to do today. I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride. Um, it's been a while since I worked my tractor hard and uh, I've been kind of missing it to be honest with you. So uh, hopefully we can give it one last good workout before the snow flies. Um, the snow has already been flying the last couple weeks and um, as soon as it hit the ground it kind of melted. I figured since we got a nice sunny day today and clear skies I figured now would be a good time to get the rest of this yard work done. So let's go ahead and jump in the tractor and get to work.
All right, I guess that's one way to get some aggression out. Um, finally got that stump out. Man, was it a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, from this end to this end, it's probably 14 inches at the base there. I mean, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And every time I thought I had all the roots, I knew I had them because I kept digging and I really wasn't coming up with much. I would pop, you know, a smaller root here or there. But typically when there's a couple like that left, I could easily push it over. And uh, coming around the other side, here is why. <laughs> It's got two humongous posts going through it. So apparently somebody at some point had thrown a couple posts in the ground and the stump had actually grown through them. So when I was trying to push the stump over, I was also trying to dig these two huge posts out of the ground, which I didn't even know about. So that would explain why it was so difficult for me to tip this thing over. But in any event, it's out, I'm happy. I will knock some more of this dirt off with the stump bucket. We'll get some of that knocked off there. I've got most of the dirt off of this tree that we knocked over. So that one's dug out. As you can see, I've got a lot of the uh, dirt off. These stump buckets work Really well for knocking all of the dirt off around these roots and as you guys seen in a previous video which I'll link right here you could actually flip the bucket upside down and it kind of works like a backhoe and you can kind of pick at it that way um, that works really well too so we just got one more stump that I want to take care of today um, and that's this stump right here so let me get at this one we'll get this one ripped out of the ground and we'll go knock off those root balls and get these things thrown on a burn pit and then we'll be all set to start backfilling these holes
All right, guys, well, I finally got that stump out. Man, was that thing a bear. There was actually another stump right here. And I don't even know where it's at anymore, but there was another stump right here connected to this huge root. And that was what I kept picking at over here. It was buried in this berm. And once I was able to get that broken free from the big stump, I was able to finally roll the big stump out of there. But it came at a cost because I'm leaking hydraulic fluid now. And I kind of messed my tractor up a little bit. So you can see, you can see my ditch lights are a little bit bent and they've been on there now for years and years and I've never hit those. So that one's tweaked really, really badly. This one over here, this looks like it's just bent outward, so it looks like that'll be an easy fix. And the biggest thing is I got hydraulic fluid basically squirting out all over the place. You can see the bottom of my coupler here is just full of hydraulic fluid. And I seen it towards the end there. I finally rolled that stump over, I seen hydraulic fluid squirting out of the cylinder here. So hopefully I didn't whack it on something. It wouldn't surprise me if I did though, because a couple of times I was trying to force that stump, I slipped off of it. So. Um, you know, things happen. I'm not too worried about it. So let's get this thing back up to the shop and see what we did for damage. All right, guys, so I think on the hydraulic hose, I got pretty lucky because it uh, looks like the stump, when I slid off of it, it ended up hitting this fitting here, which rotated the uh, fitting and loosened it on the bung here on the hydraulic cylinder. So you can see here how it pushed it and turned it like that and cracked this line loose. So I'm not really too sure why they put an elbow here. Kind of seems kind of stupid to me because it really doesn't have to be an elbow. And all you're doing is, you know, catching things with it. I think it'd be much better if this is a straight piece here coming straight off of the elbow, because then if something came, it would it would hit this elbow before it hit the smaller elbow here and turned it sideways. So um, I'm lucky that this elbow didn't break in half because then I would have been done for the day. So let's go ahead and get this thing fixed. And then we'll see if we can also get these lights uh, kind of straightened back out a little bit. I'm pretty darn abusive to this thing, which, you know, sometimes you gotta be to get the job done with what you got. But, um, yeah, I mean, I haven't broke this tractor yet. This is my first kind of issue during a job that I've had, a real issue, and um, in my opinion, it's really not even a big deal. The line was pretty loose as well, where that elbow threads into the uh, GIC fitting there. <clears throat> okay, so we should be all set there following this line back. You can see the line is in good shape here um, Nothing got torn there and the steel line that it goes back to is not bent either. So I got really lucky <clears throat> Tell you what these Harbor free lights man, they're pretty tough Pretty tough for 20 bucks a piece that good as new work. We'll go ahead and check this hydraulic fluid while we're at it I'm still on a dipstick so that's good that's a plus I'm gonna add a little bit though because it is low Put in about a half a quart here. Perfect.
right guys, well now that I've completely uh, made a mess of my yard, it's time to go clean it back up again.
All right, guys, well, we've got her all put back together here, and uh, it's looking much, much better now. Man, what a difference when you get some of them stumps out of the way, some of them trees out of the way. You can see it's just really opening up back here now. Um, this is actually up front towards my house. Um, this is the first area that I cleared with my BX when I first moved in here. Um, and I just been slowly kind of cutting trees down and digging the stumps out. So I really want to do it with you guys so you guys can kind of follow the story back here on my property. Um, you know, you guys can go on my playlist there and watch it from start to finish. Uh, kind of going through the series of me working on my yard and kind of getting things straightened out around here. So anyway, everything turned out pretty good. The ground is really, really soft, really muddy as well. I mean, I could feel my feet just sinking as I'm walking over these holes. So uh, I know it's gonna settle a lot and there's a lot of dips and whatnot because you never have enough topsoil to put them back in, especially when you're ripping out stumps that were that big. Um, so I'm gonna have to get some topsoil here in the spring and fill it back in. Um, but that'll be a spring project, but at least for now, my yard is usable again, and I've gotten that big stump cleared out of here, and it's just a lot more opened up now. What I'm doing with these bigger stumps is I'm leaving them because uh, I do plan on getting the stump grinder still, hopefully in the spring, and I want to grind a lot of these larger stumps. So that's why I'm not pulling all these stumps because trying to pull bigger stumps like this one here, it just it's a lot of work for this little machine. Um, I mean, you've seen the ones that I did today were a lot of work for it, but it does get the job done, so... Coming over here where the uh, stump was that actually took out my hydraulic line. Thankfully it didn't break anything, but loosened it up on me. That was this stump here. And you can see I kind of rebuilt that berm a little bit there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I had enough fill over here to make it so at least it wasn't a big dip in the middle, um, but it is lumpy and whatnot. So again, like I said, I'll get some topsoil to fill it, but that looks so much better. I'm gonna really be happy next spring when I go to mow. Um, we got that tree cut up that was over here. Um, got that bucked up, put it on my log pile over here. I didn't get a chance to move the logs today, but I will do that on some other day. I mean, it's not a really big priority, but I do wanna at some point move these logs back. Uh, so maybe I'll make a separate video doing that if it stays dry enough back here. Over here, you can see all the stumps that I piled up on a burn pit. I won't be burning these this year. I'll be waiting until in the spring to do that because it's just, uh, everything's just so wet from the snow and the rain. But you can see there's a big old pile of stumps right there. You know, the little BX did a good job as always. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get warmed up. It's actually pretty cold out. Um, I was really glad I had the original tractor cab today. I'm glad I had that on there because I was nice and cozy in my cab. Um, one thing about having a cab on there though is it was really tough for me to see what I was doing. And that's one of the reasons I don't have a cab or I don't leave a cab on for the summertime is because it's just one more thing you gotta try to look around and you gotta open and close the door every time you wanna hop out to pick up branches and sticks and stuff like that. So that's why I always take the cab off in the summertime. But um, you know, even with the cab on, I had plenty of visibility and I got the job done anyway. So it um, wasn't too bad to work around. So my next video will be out in the shed. I gotta rebuild my father's push box or I actually gotta add some skids to it and a new cutting edge. So that'll be an interesting video. Do some fabrication work. So that'll be the next video. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.